right, so uh, we have a Yamoto here, right, with a uh, wire that's damaged uh, at this uh, corner here. Now, this problem with the damaged wire is very common in the early units of the 09, uh, or when the 09 gets hit by something, right, the wire tends to bend too much, uh, and if the wire bends too much, it actually um, snaps off a, some wires. There are eight wires in, in there, right, three motor wires and five hall sensor wires. Now we need to um, you know, diagnose what is the real uh, issue and to fix this motor. Now the current state of this motor is that this motor does not uh, spin or it gives a funny sound when you try to spin it. So we're going to show you how to open it up. Right, let's do it. Okay, so you can see here uh, what's coming out from the motor, right? You have the three thicker pins, which are the motor wires, just the high current wires. And then you have the sensor uh, wires, which are the, um, you know, the, the, the hall sensor wires that tells, feedbacks the data, motor mm -hmm. data. All right, so let's open it up. Okay, use a mallet uh, to separate the the two motors, right? And then this is the part where it gets uh, <laughs> you got to keep your fingers uh, free, right? Because the force of the magnet is pretty strong, so make sure your fingers are not being clipped, right? Right. So separate the the inner hub, right, from the outer magnet ring. This is just a shell, it's nothing. Right? So the motor splits into these four parts. Okay? Right? So this is what we are mostly concerned about. Right? So you see this this is the hall sensor board, right? With the three hall sensors, one, two, and three. These are what determines, uh, gives the voltage to these electromagnets. Okay, now what we're gonna do, right, if you have a breakage in this area, the easiest thing to do is to just cut off, right? Just snip off this part. Now we've already done this job, right? Because it um just for convenience. Now, if your breakage is here, firstly to diagnose, you, you need to diagnose which wire is is the broken one. Right? You can do a continuity test, do a ping test or continuity test uh, with a multimeter, right? Uh, on each of these uh, wires. So how you, you would do it is that okay? Uh, show them. All right. So go on to each of the sensor wires, start with, starting with the green, right? Make sure that the uh, individual pins are, are continuous, and then go on the red, the blue, the black, the white, the yellow, right? So each of these wires, if they are not cut off, uh, they should give a nice, uh, nice ping, right? If the ping is intermittent, in that you have to test it by just twisting the wire. If it's intermittent, then you know that wire is the problem. Now. To fix that wire problem, it's not so easy as to just uh, patch back the individual wire. You kind of the easiest thing to do is just to cut it off. Part the outer part comes out, and of course you have to uh, pull the wires through uh, on the other side, right? And uh, desolder and desolder uh, the connections to the to the board here. Okay, and then after that, um, you can then patch back outside of this motor which is much easier than patching it in situ on the motor itself, right? So patch back outside the, uh, outside the motor and then thread it through, right? Thread it through and then uh, there's a hole here opening, thread the wires through back out. Yeah. Is that correct? Right. right. Okay. And then you can solder it back to the board here, right? So that is, uh, that is the easiest and fastest way to fix the motor, right? So after that, um, make sure that you, you slide this um, spring coil in uh, so that it doesn't uh, get cut off again, right? So this one happens to uh, the older versions of the 09. If it does happen to you, uh, so this is what you would have to do to fix the motor, right? Thank you.